Límite. Sí. Ya vino el teacher. Welcome. Sorry, sorry guys. Uh, <risa> se, me, se me cayó el internet. Sorry. <risa> yeah. No problem. All right. Let's continue. No okay. Let's continue. All right. So we're going to be looking at the following section, which is right here on the video. Are you ready? Is it yours? No, it's not mine. I'm going to go ahead and grade those processes that I want to emphasize on. In order to understand this topic, it's important that you understand the difference between possessive adjectives and pronouns and how they are used. So I'm going to draw a little chart to illustrate that. As you can see on this chart, if I talk about I, I will use the possessive adjective my and mine. If I talk about you, I will need to use your and yours. If I talk about he, I will need to use his and his. If I talk about she, I will need to use her and hers. If I talk about it, I will need to use its and its. If I talk about we, I will need to use our and ours. If I talk about they, I will need to use their and theirs. The next thing to understand about this topic is when exactly you use my or mine, for example. In order to explain that, I would like for you to look at the example on the screen. These are his socks. These socks are his. We want to keep the same example. So the first rule to learn is you will use possessive adjectives whenever the object is at the end of your sentence. For example, these are his socks. The object is socks. This is your umbrella. The object is umbrella. This is her car. The object is car. And um, let me point out what I mean by object. Socks. Umbrella and car. Now, you will use possessive pronouns whenever the object is at the beginning of the sentence or not mentioned at all. Let's work with the same examples to make sure that we don't get lost. These socks are his. This umbrella is mine. This car is hers. It's mine. The object I'm going to grade out is 
and as you can see the object is at the beginning not at the end as our previous example the last thing that I would like to explain is how we can use contractions to express possessives. As you can see on the chart, under names, Pat's blouse, Julie's jeans, Rex t-shirt. The apostrophe as means possessive. Whenever we say Pat's blouse, we are saying the blouse of Pat. However, we normally don't express the blouse of Pat. Instead, we use the contraction or the apostrophe S. Now it's your turn to give as many examples as possible. Talk about your possessions and the possessions of your friends, relatives, and coworkers. For example, my car is black the black car is mine. My uh, wife's dress is blue. The blue dress is hers. My co-workers computer is white his computer is white. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, right now what we are going to do is we're gonna be working on the platform right here at the bottom. You're gonna to go to Añadir una publicación where it says Titulo, you're going to write your name. After that, you're going to write the sentence. For example, number one, my house is white. The white house is mine. Number two, the red, my motor cycle is red. The red motor cycle is mine. Number three. My car is gray. The gray car is mine. All right, you're going to give me 10 examples. 10 examples on the discussion forum. You have. Teacher, teacher. Yeah, yes. Pero eso lo hicimos ayer. Ya lo hicieron todos. Fue lo último que hicimos ayer antes de que terminara la clase. Ah, ok. ¿Ya lo hicieron todos? Sí. All right. Yes, let's, ok, let's continue to the next activity then. So we're going to be looking at the knowledge check. The knowledge check. We're going to be using the possessive adjectives. Let's look at number one. Is this Jennifer's hat? No, it's not hers. It's My. mine. Are these your gloves? Your gloves. Very good. No, they are not. My, My gloves. Let's ask Sally. Let's ask Sally. Maybe they are. Her gloves. Whose t shirts are these? Are they, are they Julie's and Pat's? 
No, they are not. No, they are not. They are t shirts. But these socks are. Theirs. Theirs. And these shorts are. Yours. 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 Hey, these are oh. not our, our, our clothes. Our clothes. You're right. Our, our, ours, ours are over ours. there. Excellent work. Good job. Any questions on this activity? All right. We're going to look at section 4.7, lesson objective. In this class, you will become familiar with the weather and seasons. En esta clase se familiarizarán con los, las estaciones del año. Listen, please. Hi everyone. In this class you'll become familiar with the weather seasons and you'll also listen to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's start by listening and repeating. It's spring in Brazil. It's warm. It's very sunny. It's summer in Korea. It's raining. It's hot and humid. It's fall in the U.S. It's cool. It's cloudy and windy. It's winter in Russia. It's snowing. It's very cold. Now, let's listen to the conversation, It's very cold, which illustrates how this topic is used. Oh, no. What's the matter? It's snowing, and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm, and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. What I would like for you to do next is to practice repeating the conversation that we just heard. So we're going to practice the repetition of the conversation. Repeat. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's the matter? What's it's the matter? It's snowing. It's, it's, it's snowing. snowing. And it's very cold. And, and it's, it's very, very cold. cold. Are you wearing your gloves? Are, Are you, you wearing, wearing your, your gloves? No, they're at home. No, no, no. they're at home. They're home. home. Well, you're wearing your coat. Well, well you're you're wearing your coat. Wearing your coat. But, but my coat isn't warm. My coat is isn't warm. warm. And I'm not wearing boots. And, and I'm not wearing, I'm not wearing, wearing, not wearing boots. boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Oh, okay, okay. Let's, let's take a taxi. taxi. Thanks, Julie. Thanks, Julie. All right. So here we go. Anybody have any questions about this conversation? Do you have a question about the vocabulary or the pronunciation of the words? Nobody has a question? Somebody? Anybody? Um, One question? Clothes. Clothes. Gloves. 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 Guantes. Guantes. Gloves. What's the matter? What's the matter? ¿Qué pasa? What's the matter? ¿Qué pasa? Wearing. Wearing. Usando. Estás usando tus guantes. Guantes. It's snowing. ¿Qué significa? Nevando. Nevando. It's snowing. Está oh. nevando. 
And it's very cold. It's very cold. Very cold. Okay. Another question? No. No. Does anybody no. have another question? One more question? No, es, está muy frío. Very cold, está muy frío. Uh, helado es, creo que es el, el helado, ¿verdad? Mantecado. Ah, uh, no, it's, it's the same thing. Cold, uh, helado, frío, it's the same thing. Okay. Another question? Another uh, question? But my coast isn't warm. Warm? Ah, uh, but my coat isn't warm. Pero mi chaqueta, my coat, isn't warm. No es caliente o no es calientita. Uh, uh, warm. Mm -hmm. Warm, yeah. caliente. Okay. All right. Now we are going to practice the conversation in pairs. Are you ready? Yes. Let's go. Yeah. ¿A dónde está? ¿En la conversación de ahorita? Ah, empezaste. Eh, tú eres Pat. Hola. Tú eres Pat. Yo, Julie. Está bien. Está bien. Ok. okay. Me inicia. Es una mente. Okay. Eh, great. Our girls are. Uh, no. Tú empiezas con. Oh, no. No es esta, ¿verdad? Yo estoy perdida. No. <ríe> en la otra. Sí, perdón. No hay fin. Por eso decía yo, no, no, no. <ríe> ¿Qué pasa, Dios? Uh -huh. Estamos en la 4-7, ¿verdad? Eh, yo creo. Es que si me salgo, me saca de verdad. Es que es sí. captura la que Ay, que saco vos, así que es un problema, sí. A mí ¿verdad? me saca acá. Bueno, no sé qué, qué creo que me va eh, yo soy Pat. Ok. Entonces, oh no. What's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cold. <coughs> Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Where you are, where you're wearing your coat? But my coat isn't warm. And I'm not wearing but boots. Okay, let's take out taxi. Thanks, Julie. Okay. Ahora yo pat. Uh -huh. Oh no. What's the matter? It is snowing and it is very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat is not warm. Um, I am not wearing boots. Okay, let's stay a taxi. Thanks, Julie. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Oh, no. What's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Where you wearing your coat? But my coat isn't warm and I'm not wearing bad boots. Okay. I'm <laughs> mm -hmm. okay, let's take a taxi. Thank you, Julie. Okay. 
Ahora yo, Pat. Oh, no. El mapa, sí. <risa> What's the matter? It's snowing and it is very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, welcome back. Let me have two volunteers, please. Two volunteers, please. Raise your hand. Two volunteers, raise your hand, please. <coughs> Antonio, you are Pat. Another volunteer. Antonio, you are Pat. Another volunteer. Yo, yo, yo. All right, Miriam, action. Miriam, oh. you are Julie. Okay. Oh, oh, no. What's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your glove? No, they're at home. Where are you wearing your coat? But my coat is is not warm, and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julia. All right, very good. Applause. Good job. All right, please select somebody else. Select another student. Uh, Fatima. All right, Fatima, Ayala. you are Julie. Fatima, you are Julie. Okay. <coughs> Another student? Listen. Who? All right, action. And action. Con quien voy? Uh, Christian. Okay. Okay, yo creo que no está ahí. No. Mejor Rebecca. Rebecca, you are Pat. Okay. Oh no, what's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cool. Are you wearing your, your gloves? No, they're at, they at home. Well, you're wearing your coat? But my coat is worn and I am not, I am not wearing, I, and I am not wearing boots. Okay, let's Let's take a taxi. All Thank right. You. Applause for the girls. Thanks. All right. Gracias. Okay, guys. All right. Good job, girls. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to be moving on and we're going to be analyzing the next section here in the discussion forum. You are going to write a similar conversation to this one. In El Salvador, for example, oh no, what's the matter? It's raining so much, it won't stop raining. Oh, but you do you have your umbrella? No, no. I, I, I don't have my umbrella. I forgot my umbrella at home. Oh, that's terrible. What about your boots? Do you have any boots? No, I don't have any boots. I left my boots at home. Oh, that's not good. Do you have a raincoat? No, I left my coat at home. Oh, that's terrible. Okay, let's take a ta let's take a Uber. <laughs> right, something like that. You're gonna write it over here at the bottom. You okay. have you have ten minutes. Ten minutes. Let's go.
All right, all right. Are you guys finished or do you need more time? Más tiempo. Uh, how much time do you need? How much, more, how much more time do you need? Five minutes, please. Five more minutes, all right. Five more minutes, five more minutes.
All right, all right. Is everybody finished? Yes. Yes. All right, that's good. Now what I would like for us to do is we're going to go ahead and move forward and we're going to look at section number 4.9, lesson objective. We're going to look at this section right here. By the end of this class, you will be able to form statements using the present continuous. Al final de esta clase, ustedes serán capaces de formar oraciones usando el presente continuo. The topic is the present continuous. Listen, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form statements using the present continuous. Let me first give the definition of the present continuous. We use the present continuous whenever you want to talk about an action that is in progress in this particular moment, right now. For example, I'm talking right now. I'm explaining. You're listening to the class right now. Let me write a quick formula in order to understand how to form these statements. Subject plus verb to be plus the verb uh, plus ing plus some kind of complement. As you can see on the chart, we will use the subject of the sentence plus the verb to be, plus the verb in its ing form, plus some complement in order to express sentences in the present progressive. On the examples, you can see the verb to be is contracted, and that's because when spoken, we typically use contractions. I'm illustrating the chart without the contractions to better understand the topic. So as our examples show, you're wearing shoes. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and write that here. We have the subject, it's you, the verb to be, are, the verb plus ing, wearing plus the complement in this case happens to be shoes. We're wearing shoes, they're wearing shoes. When forming negative statements, you will just add not after the verb to be. Let me give an example on the chart. They are not wearing shoes. They are not wearing shoes. If we made the contraction, that will be, they're not wearing shoes. Finally, the conjunctions towards the right hand side, and and but, are used to give additional information or to contrast an expression. For example, it's snowing and it's very cold. That's given additional information. I'm wearing a coat, but I'm not wearing boots. That's contrasting information. Now, I would like for you to give some examples of your own. Talk about the activities that you, your family, your friends and co-workers are doing now. For example, I'm learning English. My wife is cooking dinner. My boss is working at his office. Give as many examples as you can and share them in our discussion forums.
All right, guys. Now in this section, what you're going to do is you're going to go down here in the discussion forum in this section, and you are going to write first in titulo your name. Then you're going to write first the question, what are you doing? I am learning English. Number two, what is your mom doing? She is cooking in the kitchen. Number three, what is your dad doing? He is watching football. All right, you're going to give me 10 examples, 10 examples you have. That is your homework. That is going to be your homework. All right. Good night, guys. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Good night. Good See you tomorrow. Good night. Take care. Good night. See you.